Hey guys, this is Deborah Shade here, and wow, 2020. What a year. I did one of these reminiscing videos last year, kind of impromptu, and this year I was considering doing another one, because now it's kind of just like a thing that really, I think, helps document the years, at least for me, in terms of just where we are, or where I'm at as well, just to look back on. Now, like I said in my 2019 video, this doesn't mean to sound like any sort of rag or glow or anything. I'm just telling about kind of just my thoughts and experiences of this year. And this year started pretty much okay, because we did have uh, Harmony Con, which was pretty fun that I wasn't actually planning on going to at first, but it's kind of a last minute thing. You know, hopefully uh, cons will come back sooner or later. Also, I released the Being Vocal About It album, which I'm glad a lot of people liked it and it's very experimental I feel in a way where it does travel kind of a journey of production for me um, with all the vocal chops but yeah then you know right after well not right after but a little bit kind of in the year after all that happened we got hit with the pandemic news and that really changed the course of the rest of the year for I'm pretty sure all of us it's really weird to think about about this like big event that actually like most or the entire world is uh, affected by. And of course around that time uh, I was still in my semester in college. So kind of being sent home from campus early and that was a big just change of like oh my god what am I gonna do now? So likely the thought was oh now I can get a lot of stuff done at home because you know I'll be home now and not busy with all the schoolwork, still do it, but you know, not traveling around everywhere. And that did not end up actually happening. Because yes, we, like, some stuff did get created, but overall it just didn't even feel like, it just felt like the drive was gone during some of the months of quarantine. And you know, there were definitely a lot of downs in the year in terms of just like bad moments, um, personal and overall just with everyone so that's why it was kind of hard to find the drive and to make stuff such as music um i actually kind of took up some more video editing because that's also another fun thing to do for me i guess you can say another passion that's why you saw some stuff such as the hot air balloon pmv and kind of like my favorite episodes video and stuff like that also some pony life memes as well which we'll get into in a little bit but yeah, with the closing down of cons, it was kind of a weird year for the Phantom overall, like, what do we do now? Because we haven't really been in this situation before in the years of, you know, the Phantom being a thing. And you know, there was the Horses at Home con for years, which was, you know, basically for people that couldn't go to cons or just to have a con in your house, basically, with streams. But this year we saw a surge in online cons because, you know, we don't have real cons now, what do we do? And while there were like a very abundant amount of them which was like okay you know there's a lot of them here to kind of keep track of on the same weekends as well they were kind of contradicting with each other or conflicting i guess but i'm glad the fandom still like was able to kind of come together to organize or have these different events you know also i'm not going to get into too much drama on the fandom and all because you know like there was a bunch of drama this year as well but it will be interesting to see where 2021 leads us in terms of just how we're going to progress as a fandom overall. Because the weird message I'll say is how 2021 will feel kind of a year of recovery in a way. Like, we'll still have the pandemic to try to deal with. But overall, like, with all the stuff that happened in 2020, 2021 is like, okay, let's now finally not fix it for good. But, you know, kind of solve these problems to kind of make up and get back to normal in the terms of just overall. I do have a lot of goals for 2021 because now that there's been that loss of drive for a while I think it's time to finally get back on track and get stuff done in terms of just stuff I want to do or passions and kind of create more content now that we're out of the I guess main slump of 2020 I hope 2021 is not as big as a slump as it was this year but who knows I guess the other thing I'll just mention which was a highlight was like I said, the Pony Life memes, because Pony Life came out this year. And while it did have a lot of just controversy in terms of like, is it good, is it bad, um, the debates and stuff, I think, I don't know, I personally thought it was all right. It's grown on me a bit. And, but there was a, <laughs> me and people, we were just starting to create memes. And one day, me and Luck Rock, we created this 
Pony Life Friends parody based off of uh, one of the scenes in the Pony Life episode. And that became pretty successful. I guess, yeah, one of the main highlights was actually making it onto the top 10 pony videos. Once as an honorable mention and once as number six. So thank you everyone who voted for it. it. Actually, it really means a lot. I never thought in years of watching the top 10 pony video series that I would make it on one of them. And you know, thank you uh, to Luck Rock too for doing it with me, with uh, making the music, cause it's really fun. And to give a shout out to, to all the other people that kind of helped uh, with suggestions and stuff to make it as good as it was. So yeah, in the end, 2020 was a really weird year. Um, personally for me, I don't feel like I got a lot done with it. I wish I got more done, but you know, that's just the way things go. But yeah, I do have some goals for 2021 I want to do. Uh, mostly because I want to create content again. I want to get better at different things and... Hopefully overall I can just create better quality uh, stuff that people will enjoy. And you know if cons come back um, somehow next year that would be even better because I do feel like once the whole pandemic and a lot of things settle down it will be a really fun time because we'll kind of just like, because I do feel like we'll have that period of time like, oh man we got through it. So yeah I hope all of you had some good moments in 2020 um, despite being a really eventful year. And I hope that 2021 brings us some time of fun and improvement and recovery. And see you all then. Oh wow, that was a very anticlimactic last shot. There we go.